A messy and chaotic withdrawal. With the final troops out of Afghanistan, the focus now on Americans and allies still there. We are going to continue to work to try to get people who want out um, out of this situation. Senator Elizabeth Warren sits on the Armed Services Committee. As President Biden faces tough criticism about the withdrawal, she points to the 122,000 people who were evacuated. And she pivoted as well to the talks with the former president. The Taliban had agreed in the negotiations with President Trump that they would let people who wanted to leave, leave, and we will keep pushing for that. In the final days, 13 service members were killed, including Sergeant Johanny Rosario Pichardo of Lawrence. We lost someone from here in Massachusetts. We lost people right here at the end. It was very dangerous. Uh, to get as many people out as we could. The senator says she supports President Biden's decision to pull the troops out after two decades. We should have left a long time ago, uh, but now President Biden has done the right thing. We did ask the senator if she had any questions about the withdrawal from Afghanistan, and she said she'd like to see a closer look at why the war started and how it lasted 20 years. In Boston, Charmitz Getty, WCVB News Center 5. Well, after stepping down as Jeopardy's new host, Mike Richards is now.